big favourites come to the fore. Five and a half kilometres, and now it's Father Paul who makes his move. Fanat is the one struggling. Pogacar is trying to respond. He has pounced. The gap is opening to Mathieu van der Poel. Gunnar and Pogacar have come back to the wheel of Wout van Aert. And Mathieu van der Poel is going to do exactly what his grandfather did in the 1960s. Mathieu van der Poel is a monuments man again. Mathieu van der Poel is a Milano Sanremo winner. They have got 500 metres to the top to cling on now to this group. A lot of Kapeki goes now for SD Works. The Belgian champion really throwing it down now on this climb. Absolutely phenomenal move by the Belgian champion. Lotta Kapeki can enjoy the moment. Stage winner. Lotta Kapeki can now add a Tour de France fam stage win to the Palmares. Van Empel now on the attack. This is an attack. This isn't trying to go for a, a bottle. So Niska was going for a bottle. Fem ducks under it. <laughs> nice, uh, nice work there between the two of them. Bingo go goes. That's absolutely fantastic. And there's nothing that Pogaccio can do about it at the moment. And this is partially oh. down to the work rate that Yui Yamrits have put in for the entire day. No response just yet. And Pogaccio's going backwards. Oh my life. This is a hell of a kick. He finds himself coming home in fifth place on the day and actually will indeed, I think, quietly celebrate. Here he goes, here he goes. He has proven that, yeah, he has put a lot in yesterday and again today. He was hurt yesterday, but he bounces straight back. Today, Pogacar, present and correct. The Tour de France is on. Everyone else just looking around at each other. Is this the moment now? Damien Vollering now goes. They've got to be vigilant of the SD Works rider. It's Liana Lippert that tries to close this one up, but Damien Vollering opens the pressure and opens a small gap. You can see the chasers all looking around at each other through the Flam Rouge now with one kilometre to go. Damien Vollering makes no mistake, comes across the line to take her third victory of the year, 15th victory as a pro. One bike length, two bike lengths, three bike lengths. Look at the way he's distancing the quality of riders in his wake. He rounds him, he pushes on, he doesn't want any passengers at all. A young man with still a mighty future and already a mighty past, rolled together in a beautiful package. Oh, that is superb! The Dutch come through again, and it's attacked by Misha Bredewald. Big, big opportunity here for Misha Bredewald, who won in Plouet. This is brutally hard, this section. We've got highs of up to 13, 14% on this climb, plus coppers as well added into the mix. The title goes to Misha Bredewald of the Netherlands. Wow, that was spectacular. Misha Bredewald, European champion. Avnapol waited, and now Avnapol goes. Peacock struggles to follow. Asking Tom for work, Tom looking back, shaking his head. He's gone again now, got rid of Pidcock. He soaks up the applause, shows off the rainbow bands, and Sudal Quickstep has a spring saviour for the second year running. Renko Ibnepal, in just his second appearance at Liege, Baston Liege, wins again. It's Victor Lafay, second day running under the Flamme Rouge. Corfidis, who've not won a stage at the Tour de France since 2008. Is this the day? Is this the year? Is he the man?
Lafayette timing it. Lafayette going. He's got 400 meters to the line now. He showed form yesterday. He's showing it again today. Victor Lafayette is there. You can see Bernard launching. Look at Pagacha coming around. But Lafayette has it. Lafayette has it. And Kulpit is in the draft. 15 long years. 2008 to 2023. And Victor Lafayette has done it.